Whoa, mysterious house. I want to get locked in you. Let's read the instructions. Hi everyone. Um, if anybody is watching, welcome to this stream of the adventure game Mystery House. Um, I'm giving this go as a bit of a, a stealth stream um, for a technical test and to see if the idea of what I think will work for streaming an adventure game um, would be plausible and we'll, we'll see where we go from there. So um, we're playing Mystery House, uh, what builds itself as the first graphic adventure game and you get a bit of a, a preface and we can get through the instructions as well before we get started so we'll start there. For a great moment in history, Mystery House, the first graphic adventure, was created in 1980 by Sierra Online founders Ken and Roberta Williams, released into the public domain in 1987 to celebrate Sierra's 7th anniversary. We encourage you to copy this game for yourself or to share. If you have enjoyed it, you may send a $5 donation to Ken and Roberta's favourite charity, Sierra Historic Sites Association PO Box 451, Oakhurst, California 93644. I, um, I don't know if the, the charity is still active, um, I doubt the post office box goes to the right people so um, I probably wouldn't do that if I were you but um, there might be other ways we can contribute if we enjoy our game. No, because it is now free, Sierra's gift to you. We can no longer take calls on this game, it's a shame isn't it, I, <laughs> the Sierra's now shut down as well, it might be hard to get through. If you need help, we suggest you contact your local Apple users group to talk with others who may have played it. I mean, it's good advice. Um, I hear I hear there is some advice on computer games on the internet as well. Let's put space. Here we go. Mystery House. Zero Online Inc. Enter G for game or I for instructions. I think this is slightly retooled from the original version because I think the Sierra was called um, Online Systems at the time. So let's go through the instructions because um, we're at the amazing stage in computer games where you can have some instruction screens which are the entirety of the, the manual for the game. So let's just do it. Instructions for High Res Adventure. Adventure is one of the most fascinating and challenging games available for your Apple computer. Which is strange because the game isn't called Adventure. Uh, winning is quite a challenge in a game where it may take hours to move and weeks to solve a puzzle. High Res Adventure number one, Mystery I'm not planning on streaming for weeks. High Res Adventure number one, Mystery House takes place in an old house with many rooms. As you enter the house, seven other persons will be in the living room. Eventually they are dispersed throughout the house and you start finding them dead. You must find the killer before he, she, they uh, end up killing you. Press return to continue. You progress through the house by providing two word commands which usually contain a verb and then a noun but aren't always in that order. Examples are water on and open door. Water on? What, what would you be doing if you were watering on? You could turn turn water on I guess if you get to a tap. If a set of words doesn't seem to be working, try different terminology. Well, that's always the case with a text-based game, isn't it? If you should find a staircase, you may try upstairs or go upstairs. Or go stairs, sorry. Yeah, I don't reckon it'll understand upstairs if we, we try that. Some of the actions you can take are get, drop, go, look, read, climb, move, hit, kill. Oh, this might get a bit. So, uh, I mean content warning possibly this is going to involve murder i don't know how graphic it's likely to get hopefully not very um but with older games they can look quite friendly to start with and you can never quite tell where they're going to end up so uh be be warned we're going into the territory of of murder and you know uh, possibly uh it will get a bit graphic but i hope not you may go in the directions north, south, east, west, up and down. Type north or end to go north. The other directions may also be abbreviated as well. When your way is blocked and you can't use directions to move, you may have to refer to the actual object in your way. In these cases, you could type go door, go hole, go gate, etc. Okay, I think I'm getting the, the gist of it. 
In general, the top of the screen is north, the bottom is south, the left side is west, and the right side is east, so that's conventional. Um, I do get my east and west modelled up a bit, so that might be interesting. Because of the difficulty of drawing doorways to the south or the bottom of the screen, there are one or two rooms where the doorways do not match up to the normal directions. If you want a closer look at something, say look object, to return to the main view, say look room. Okay. Save game and restore game may also be used, so that could be useful. We'll, we'll, we'll test that out, I guess. Um, a note of caution. Carrying more than one note may be confusing as the computer will arbitrarily decide which one to read or drop. Should you wish to return past commands, you may press return without typing to flip-flop between graphics and text. If your copy should ever fail to load or get munched by a hungry disk drive, send it with five dollars. Dang, why am I sending my... What for? Are you going to replace it for five dollars? To online systems. But I mean, you should have you should have made a copy already because you've been told you can. Uh, but these instructions probably predate the the freeware thing. Um, so you send you send your five dollars to online systems three six five seven five Mudge Ranch Road, Course Gold, California nine three six one four. I mean that do, does sound like a fictional address to me, but well, what do I do? I'm sure I'm sure it was genuine at the time. Press return to continue. At the start of the game, there will be seven other people in the house with you. Their names, occupations and hair colour are as follows. Tom, blonde plumber. Sam, brunette mechanic. Sally, redhead seamstress. Dr. Green, brunette surgeon. Joe, brunette grave digger. Bill, blonde butcher. Daisy, blonde cook. Um, I'm not quite sure what the relevance of the, the different characters' hair colour and profession is. I don't think there's any dating in this game, but... You never know. Um, and I wouldn't read too much into how they've gendered the, the hair colours there. Because I think in the the manual that I've read, they've they've done it in an entirely different way. So I don't think that has any relevance to to the characters. I think it's just sort of arbitrary spelling at the time. Okay, here we go. <gasps> this is our high-res adventure. Okay, so the, uh, the forefront of... Um, text to text to image technology um, I think we're going to be interfacing everything through everything through a text parser um, but there'll be uh, clues that only appear on the graphics so I think that's that's what we're playing with here okay we are in the front yard of a large abandoned Victorian house stone steps lead up to a wide porch enter command so at this point, I put introduce the the notepad that you can see on screen. Uh, so I've also got another document open, where I can uh, make notes on what we're doing. I th my plan is, if I scroll down a bit, yeah, here we go. Um, that I have, I can make a map as I go along because uh, with these games, it's really helpful to to help you along, especially if you fail, which is quite likely, um, and have to restart you can sort of speed your way through once you know where you're going. So um, my intention is to draw little images. Let's go let's have a go right now. Yeah, we're on the right layer. Okay, so this is the exterior of the house. So let's do a little... Uh, this is going to be quite rough and ready, but it'll get the, the gist across uh, for, for visual memory, I think. Uh, something like that uh, so yeah so uh, this was one way of kind of making these streams a bit more interactive and a bit more leisurely this, there's there's no rush there's no rush in this game um, there you go so we can make little maps for ourselves and take notes as we go along and um, yeah and develop a document as we go so I've also got uh, a space down the bottom for inventory, but it sounds like we'll pick things up. Let me see if I can show you that. Yep, yeah, there we go, inventory. So I can make some notes there on that. Got a space for my objectives in the game, um, in case I need to remind myself. There we go. Number one, don't get murdered. Uh, and we've got, here we go, I've re also written down uh, the vital statistics of the characters as presented in the instructions so that we can refer to that if we should need to. 
um, but I'll go back to the, the map for now. So that's the exterior of the house. I don't know if there's much to do there, but we'll find out. Um, great, okay, so back to here. Um, so uh, I'm in front of a large abandoned Victorian house. I don't know what I'm doing here. Stone steps lead up to a wide porch. I'm going to go home and see what happens. I don't understand what you mean. You are in front of it. Uh, something, some kind of existential dread is building. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens now. Um, if you're, if anybody's watching, by the way, um, let me know how we're doing on sound levels and everything. I think everything should be all right. So you should just hear my voice. There's no game audio because it's game of an era when uh, the games didn't have sound. Um, so I've just got um, an ambient soundtrack going on in the background. Um, so let me know how that's balanced and, and if it's working for you. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I want to run away because I'm scared. I don't know how to run A away. Oh, that's a shame. Right. If I look at the house, what does it tell me? There is nothing special. Ooh. Um, look at the door. There is nothing special. Oh, I'll have to learn to be patient for it to, to load up the, the room description first. Um, look, path. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. I don't know how to look a path. Interesting. Oh, uh, no, steps wasn't it, not a path. Look, steps. Um, there is nothing special. Uh, well, I think steps would beg to disagree, but um, look tree. It's quite. It's there, isn't it? It's it's prominent in the composition. There is a forest. Oh, nice. Um, can I go forest? I don't know how to go a forest. Interesting. Can I go tree? I wonder, so I wonder if there's any uh, environments outside of the house that we need to go to. Well, you can. You're in a forest. Oh man, this is exciting. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so um, I think we need to record this. Let's go over to the dock and I will get us another. Um, and I guess I'll put it here for now. And I'll make the note um, tree oh sorry I'm writing forest but I mean tree so it was tree there we go um, and then we've got a variety of um, uh, well what, what type of tree do you think these would be um, I mean they all look are they furs? They all look quite Christmas tree, don't they? And uh, um, look like they've been through various degrees of compression. And um, the uh, the specimen on the right um, looks like it's got a very sturdy trunk. I mean, I I would trust that trunk to the ends of the earth. Okay, um, right. What do we do now? Now we're in this forest. Um, Look, trees, plural. There is nothing special. I mean, this could also be a dead end. I mean, um, I think Sierra Games are a bit notorious for, for dead ends, so the, the legacy could start here. Um, how about if we just go north? I'm still in the forest, interesting. East? West? Okay, it looks like this is the same screen each time. South. Okay. Um, can you leave the forest? Maybe you're stuck in the forest. I don't know how to leave a forest. Oh no. This is, <laughs> this is terrible. We don't know how to leave a forest. Um, all right. We don't know. We don't know how to leave a forest. That's that's okay. I'm not going to panic. Go house. Go house. 
Oh. Look. There is nothing special. Oh. I wonder... So... Up? The kitchen door is closed. That's very interesting. Uh, nobody mentioned the kitchen door. Look, door. Open. Oh, hello. So maybe we can get around the back of the house. Open door. Kitchen door is open. Well, let's go in. This is interesting. Go. Door. Oh. Um. Go house. Do house. <laughs> I don't know how to do something. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um. Go. Uh. En enter. Can you enter? That seems a bit too sophisticated, doesn't it? Um. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, ooh, um, I don't understand what you mean, you're in a forest. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean, you are in a forest. Okay, um, so I can see kitchen door, so look, can I look house? There's nothing special. Go, go, oh, go kitchen, go kitchen. Could be what we need to do. I don't know how to go a kitchen. Uh, well, let's try directions again. East, north. It's getting dark. Uh oh. There must be a timer. South, west. It is getting dark. You're in a forest. In a command. Look, kitchen. I don't know how to look a kitchen. Look, uh, go, 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 go door. Enter ki ki kitchen. I don't know how to enter a kitchen. Um. Can I go left? I don't know how to left something. Go. Can I go left? So hang on. The kitchen was up, wasn't it? So what is down? Can't go in that direction. It's getting dark. You're in a forest. Up. Ah, there you go. It's getting dark. You're in a the kitchen. There is a refrigerator, stove, and cabinet. Ooh, look. Cabinet. It's not open. Okay. I think that's a I'm hoping there's something really useful in this cabinet. Oh. Ah, now I can so there's graphics change so I can look at the cabinet now. Ah, it's getting dark. Yeah. There's oh, I think that says it's really overlapping, but I think that says matches. Um take matches they might come in handy oh yes um look room um look refrigerator that is not how you spell refrigerator look refrigerator the door is closed. Yeah, yep. Yep. Now it's I mean this this is there's there's a bit of atmosphere here because it keeps because it keeps restating the same things. It's quite disconcerting. Nice. Now I can look the refrigerator. I'm getting these patterns down. Woo, it's a jug. Uh Look jug. See if I've got the right vocab. I don't have to look a jug. 
take jug? No. Um, look. There's nothing special. Look. Va vase? I'm not quite sure what. Picture? Could be a picture. Okay. Take. Oh. Um. Now it's got dark. All right, so I guess I've got nothing to lose. Well, apart from perhaps being accidentally murdered by. I think we might have accidentally found a stealth um, shortcut by coming through the forest. You know. Let's get another square on our map. So what we did was we went up, didn't we? So that's going to be a really useful thing to know if we have to re-navigate re this particular area. That there. So this is up, that's where we had to go there. And this was the kitchen, wasn't it? So I think from memory there was a door. And this was the cabinet. Which of these rooms are so simple. Cabinet, and there was, I think this thing with the weird circles on it looked like, I mean, it looked about the same as I'm drawing it to be honest um, and there was a refrigerator in the, the back there and I think there was a door there um, I think that was all that was in the room so this is the kitchen so let's make a note of that there so you know what I might change colour I've got a blue here so I can put um, did I get the picture I don't think I got the picture but let me write it picture matches um, great okay that is messy maybe I can tidy up the next time we use it but that's that's our map so far um, okay I'll just have a quick check on how the streams doing um, looking fine looking fine um, if yeah if anybody has any hints, um, please, please feel free to drop them in, um, because that that would be really handy. Um, so I'm gonna take a picture. It is dark; you can't see. So I suspect I might not be able to do much then if it's dark. So what if I light a match? Is that an acceptable word combination? Okay. Nice. Ah, look. So I probably do have the picture. Is that correct? Great, okay. Um, oh, I wonder how. Do you reckon my match is timed? It might be, mightn't it? But that was a good solution. Okay. Um, look, stove. There was nothing special. The match went out. Oh, they don't last long, do they? It's dark, you can't see. I need a more sustainable light source, don't I? Okay. Um, can you open the stove? I hope there's nothing gruesome inside. I don't understand what you mean. Can I... Can I light the stove? The stove explodes, you are dead! Would you like to break? <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry apologies for my loud laugh um that's hilarious okay that's yeah that is typical sierra style i think the um <laughs> uh, uh, would i like to play again yes yes let's give it another run um so don't light the stove i think the stove might be a trick so, if the game is based on 
how many um, commands you've input before certain things are triggered, like it getting dark. Then it was closed. Uh, then we um, we might be able to make better progress uh, for having for knowing what we're supposed to do. Great. So I need to uh, open the cabinet. I need to look at the cabinet. I need to get those matches because that might be our only hope to get anywhere beyond the kitchen, to be honest. Green. Um, look. Refrigerator. Oh no, I need to open the refrigerator, don't I? Um, and try and remember how to type refrigerator. It's really important. Open refrigerator. Refrigerator. Um, so, I mean, it looks like a cupboard, doesn't it? Um, and I wonder if there's anything in the picture. Take picture, drink picture. I don't understand what you mean. Okay, look. Well, yeah, we're definitely. This it's not even saying it's getting dark yet. So it's right in the space on how many commands you enter. Um, is there a door to? There's a sink, isn't there? Okay. Um, fill picture to fill something. Um, water, water picture. There's a term about watering on, wasn't it, in the instructions? Water picture. I don't understand what you mean. Okay. Um, look, sink. I think we would you call that a sink? Whoa, there is a butter knife here. <gasps> what are the what are the round bits? Um. Get, but I better go type in butter knife. I mean, I'm not going to be. It's not great in self defense terms, is it? Um, oh, I get it. So uh, I think the, the bottommost circle is the drain, and the topmost circle is the handles. Okay. Um, use picture. What do you mean? Hang on, I know what I'm going to do. Water on. Let's water on. Water is running into the sink. Uh, use picture. No, that wasn't before, was it? Um, uh, fill didn't work. Um, hmm. What? 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 What should we do? What word should we use? Um. How would you how would you alternatively say to fill something? Any idea? Um fill uh look water No Get get water. No can just get water now I've got a, Your picture is full. Worked it out. Okay, let's get oh now it's getting dark, okay. Look, room so there might be a door to the... So I don't think time will advance while I'm not entering anything. So I'm going to go back to me dock and have a look at the map. So, I mean, I'm going to zoom zoom right in here. So I can get some more. So there's, very importantly, there's the sink. That's got... Water and a butter knife. I mean, so I'm a bit confused. Is this is it's described as a Victorian house um, that's been abandoned, but it's got a refrigerator. So I mean, I guess it can be Victorian built, but recently occupied and now abandoned. But um, a bit weird that there's a butter knife in the sink. I think it's a bit weird. But we're we're well equipped, I think. 
So there's an open door to the left, which would be west. Um, and it looks like there might be a door to the east that's closed. Which way do you think we should go? Right, save the document. That is a awful, awful mess, but no worries. I'm sure I'll be able to interpret it um, next time I need to. I'll, I'll clean it up and um, refine it. Okay. Um, hmm. Where to go? What do we think? Um, I think the open door looks a bit suspiciously easy, so let's try and go east. Oh, okay. So I'm now in the entry hall. Doorways go east, west, and south, and a stairway goes up. Right, so the kitchen was adjacent to like the entryway. There's, I think this might be a, a clue. I think this this thing in the corner says note, with the with the green N. Um, but I don't know what. So there's like a doorway here. Doorways go east, west, and south. So I'm a bit confused by. But it looks like there's an entryway in each wall. Um, I don't know what this word at the bottom is supposed to be. It could be a thing I can get, but I don't, can't read it. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, there's people. Let's look at the people. I mean, they're just sort of standing around in a line with their abstract faces. The people explained at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Indeed, they were. Um, all right, let's. Maybe we can look at uh, our list of people who. So, if everybody's here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven people. Um, two of them are in skirts, so I'll leave that. I'll leave that up to you as to who's wearing a skirt. Um, Tom, we know Tom is there. So, can I look at Tom? So, presumably, we're introducing ourselves at this point. There is nothing special about Tom. That's very rude. Um, can I? Can you talk to the people? Can I talk to the people? I don't know what you mean. It's getting dark. Can I talk to Tom? It is getting dark. Um, okay. Uh, let's. Get the note and look at the note because we were warned in the instructions that we read that um, it's confused as a computer if you there is writing on it. Oh, you cheeky game! Um, so you need to read note. Um, so I think we'll read the notes and then discard them um, so we don't break the game too quickly. Valuable jewels are hidden in this house, finders keepers. Um, okay, uh, so that might be a motive for murder, are we thinking? Is this, is this laying up plot? So let's go down to our inventory. Let's have a, let's actually have a section for notes, shall we? Uh, notes, bam, bam. Um, and we will put in this classic note. I feel like we're actually doing really well. I think this is a really good run. It hasn't even got dark yet. Uh, valuable jewels. I think we aced the kitchen, by the way. Valuable jewels are hidden. I mean, I feel like kind of in tribute to how uh, <laughs> How cronky the graphics are in this game, because it must have been really hard to to um, get anything smooth or regular um, uh, in the way of curves. Um, my my writing is is equally equally cronky here. So it's not my best, not my best work. But there we go. 
Those who hid in this house find his keepers. There you go. I think that's all we need to know from there. So um, then I will drop the note. Because I know where to find it again if I need it. It's still getting dark. I don't want the notes at somebody's feet now. So in theory... So we went east, didn't we, from the... I didn't mean to... Oh, never mind. That splodge can stay there. Um, I'm just going to... I need to record this on the map, don't I, really? So I don't get lost. So we went east. So I kind of need to shift things up a bit. Let's uh, grab some layers on here. And... Move all this stuff over for now. And so you can see that better. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then I want to get a new. Get you one of these. And then make some, some notes on it. So, yeah, according to the instructions, these people will disperse and then. Uh, slowly but surely be murdered, which is, um, it's a strange thing to know at this stage, to be honest, because we've just met, um, conversation has been a bit awkward, but if we feel like we're getting on, I, uh, I'm getting on with, who, do, who would I be getting on with, if you think? Let's have a look at the list. The great Joe the Gravedigger, I think we're getting on famously. We're talking shovels. It's um, it's a good time. So we went east. So yeah, so that's where that was. And then so this is the entryway. So I won't bother with the people um, in terms of drawing them, of course. No, if they're of utmost concern. Um, so I know there's a door there, door there, and a door there. Doors go east. Oh, so I wonder if the door in the north is actually the front door. That could be that could be right, couldn't it? And then there's stairs going up. Okay. Um, so I'm there's illegible text there. Yeah, I wonder what that's supposed to be. Um, I will mark uh, illegible. Is that how you spell illegible? I feel like it should be. Yeah, it's got two L's at the start, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, illegible, and there's a note which we've noted. Boom, boom, boom. So I guess if that note's the same every time in the game, we don't necessarily have to read it every time, do we, if we do another run? Um, Alright, hi people. Right, okay. Um, our next move, what do you think? I'm thinking um, so if we went west we should end up back where we came from in the kitchen so I'm tempted to go south oh spooky um, you're in the dining room. Ooh. Um, okay. Uh, help anyone? What's on the... That looks like a candle. I'm gonna... Take... Candle. Ah, that was all a candle. Oh, it was a candle on like a... Um, a candle... Uh, what are they called? The type of candlestick holder that you... Um, holding your hand. Sorry, I was momentarily distracted by that weird triangular thing in the background. Is it a window? Windows are boarded up except the attic window. It's a very strange thing to say. So that might be a means of escape. What if I look at the table? There is nothing special. Okay, so I think we've probably cracked the old... Um, it's getting dark puzzle 
which is great going. I mean, I have great hopes for making lots of progress first first time through with this game because I've never played it before. Um, but I think we're doing really well. Okay, so we need a new a new map screen, don't we? While um, while time's ticking away, and that was uh, south, which I think is down this direction, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how well this map is going to align with um, the reality of how the game's set out, but we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Okay. That is great. I will... Oh, you can't really see that very well. Let me move that around. Yeah, that's better. Um, pop some more notes in. So we're going south. Let's put X, that'll do. Um, so we're in the dining room. Weird triangle window that's. Is that boarded up? Is there something on the floor as well? What's that round thing below the triangle? What do you reckon? Could it be. Could it be anything useful, or is it just sort of a weird graphical uh, anomaly? So there's like a double door there, which is intriguing. Um, single door there, lots of cobwebs, a table and a rug, by the looks of it. Can have a look at the rug, I guess. Um, I'll do a triangle and a circle there. And yeah, that's right on candle you think this might be a good time to save i think it really might be you know let's let's try the save function out um i think we have to type save game okay i think that worked um, no confirmation but nothing to say i do not know how to save a game so so that's helpful um okay um look rug that's not how you spell rug. There is nothing special. Ah, move. Ah, it's that you can't see. Okay. So if I light the candle, I mean, hopefully that gives me light for the rest of the game. Okay. Thanks, that's good. I've got a box of matches um, so I can relight it. Um, look. Floor. Oh, you tripped over rug and fort. Uh oh, you started a fire with your candle. Okay. Um, pour water. Fire is out. The pitcher is empty. Ooh, this might have been a trick, but it also might be a clue. Now, what happens if I look at the floor? Nothing special. Look, I mean, if I've if that's just a like a, a gag detail, and there's now a whole ah, <gasps> there's a key. Take the key. This is all sorts of exciting adventure. I wonder what the key goes to. Oh my goodness. Um, that was very exciting. Uh, so wow, um, I think I'm gonna save the game again. This is this is going great stuff. Fantastic. All right. Um, uh, so is there a, like a rock? Has a rock been thrown through the window? That's what I want to find out. Don't know how to look a rock. Look stone. All right. I'm gonna assume this room is done. Um, so we came. So oh, this is going to get in conflict with the forest on my map, isn't it? Never mind. I can I can find a way around that. Um, what do we think? Are we going east, which is double doors, or west? I try right, east. Can't go in that direction. Oh, okay. Open door. Oh. 
So is that a cup door? I'm gonna try. Can't go in that direction. Um, look, is it a cupboard or a closet or what is it? Okay. Look, doors. Interesting. Uh, so let's look around the room again. Oh, you can't. Okay. Um, I'm just in the dining room. So what? What do those double doors lead to? Can I go north? Oh. Oh yeah, of course I can go north. Yeah. yeah. So. N ah, so that the people have dispersed. Interesting. So I'm going to go back south again because I don't think I've quite worked out where everything is. Um, so if so if there are only the two doors um, and I came through one of them I probably need to go south so I probably came through the one that's on the left and to go south oh my goodness you're in the fence backyard the fence follows the side of the house to the north there is a dead body here <gasps> Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Right. I think I need to uh, make some more notes on this. So I shall. So the, this is north door. This is south door. And actually, yeah, I can put a new Thing off to the side here. Let's do it. Um, like that. De -de -de. There we go. Um, so I've gone south here. South. And we've got our first corpse, sad to say. There's a gate, isn't there? You see that gate? Hmm. That could be a way out. Um, I don't know why I came here, but Well, yeah. This is my version of the corpse. Well, they've got a big bump on their head. I think that's a, I think that's a clue, like a cartoon bump. So I hope this won't be too graphic. Um, fence backyard. Fence was inside the house to the north. Interesting. All right. Um, look at buddy. It is Sam. Oh, that disappeared really quickly. Um, all right, I'll try and read it really quickly. Body. It is Sam the mechanic. He has been hit in the head by a blunt object. Okay. Poor Sam. Um, hardly knew you, Sam. Um, I'll try and I'll try and bring the killer to justice. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's let's write down the Sams here. I mean, it would be awesome if this game randomised elements, but I don't th think the technology was sufficient enough to be able to do that at the time. So, uh, hopefully, everything we find out will stand from run to run at this game. Um, great! I've probably still got me lit candle as well, haven't I? Um, so I don't know if we can find out anything from... Can we search Sam in case they've got anything useful on them? I don't know how to search something. Okay. Um, no, probably not then. Um, let's have a look at that gate that we think we can see. Nothing special. Okay. Um, that usually means that um, the thing is there. It's just that it hasn't got anything to say about it. Open gate. Oh!
go gate? Can I go? Go gate go. Oh my god. There's a cemetery here. Uh, you're in a small fence cemetery. There are six newly dug graves. Oh, this is really creepy. There are six newly dug graves. Um, and who's this person? I, I, I'm guessing it's going to be the grave digger Joe, but um, that's kind of... This is really creepy. Is Joe the grave digger? He's just finished digging the six graves. Oh, this is really spooky. Uh, look, graves. We were responding over shovels, Joe, in the in the lobby. Uh, look, headstone. I mean, if there's one with my name on it, I'm gonna freak out. I don't know. What, uh, headstone is too long a word. Interesting. Headstone. I don't know how to look at headstone. Um, can I talk to Joe about, you know? He doesn't talk much. Brilliant. <laughs> this is spooky and um, and witty. Okay, um, the shovel. That looks like a potential murder weapon there, Joe. Can I take... Take the shovel? Joe won't let you. Mm, um, this is really disquieting. You fall in one and Joe buries you. You are dead. Would you like to play again? Oh, my. Yeah, okay. Um, can I... Oh, how do you load the game? What was the terminology? Hmm, can anybody remember what, um, restore, it was restore, wasn't it? Restore game, will it let me do it from there? No. Restore game, can I do it? No, nope, that's not how you spell game. Yes, okay. So we, we, yeah, we pretty much aced it, haven't we? Um, alright, I'll, uh, while I'm letting that dis disturbing fate um, play in my mind. I'll um, move things around on our map and make some room f to put the cemetery on there too. So, I mean, Joe, Joe's a killer, basically. Uh, if, I, if I fall in the grave and Joe buries me alive, I'm pretty sure Joe's, Joe's our murderer. Which, I mean, it's falling into stereotypes about grave diggers, is it? I don't know if there's a stereotype about murderous grave diggers. There could be. So this is my whole document. Let's grab all the map bits and shift them along a bit. Oh, the notes thing is in there too. That's all right. I can, I can go there. That's no problem. Okay. And then we'll zoom back in to this side. There we go. Yeah, nice. And let's grab a new square for for the map. Popping there. So that's gate, isn't it? That's how we ended up there. So it sounded like you could go north from where you were um, in the garden where Sam, we found Sam. So that could be somewhere to explore next. Um, I doubt you can go anywhere from the cemetery. Um, Probably not, let me remember what it looked like. I mean. Hang on, so what was really interesting there was that there, I guess, uh, Joe could just be being employed by somebody, but, and is, isn't the, the true killer. Um, but, 
Oh, there was something like this, wasn't there? And then Joe was there looking all creepy, not talking. Um, didn't quite look that much like a baby, but um, and there's a shot on there. That will do. That will, yeah, that kind of does it. Um, I lost my train of thought there. Um, yeah, oh, Joe might be employed by somebody who is the true, true killer, and they're just doing the clean-up job. But... Um, what was my thought? There are six graves. That's my thought. There are six graves and eight people in the building. Um, because there were, there's me and seven others, the seven named characters. Um, you know what? So we've got that on our map. I think we probably need to... Pop a line over Sam to, to say that we know Sam's gone. Bye, Sam. Um, and Joe, I'm going to say, let's get a, probably needs a red. Joe, I'm going to say Joe is sus. Because, you know, it's Hitting someone over the head. No, he didn't hit me over the head. He buried me after I'd fallen into a grave. That's pretty sus behaviour, to be honest. Uh, being uh, just next to a body that had received blunt force trauma. Um, very suspicious indeed. Okay. There, I guess we've got to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a bit nervous about going back there. This is, um, this is an effective game. As um as technologically crude as it is, it's um south can be south can they? Um it's used as means really well. Um so I wonder Does Joe let you leave once you've seen the graves? Wonder. Hi Joe. Um look. Joe? This is Joe the grave digger, he's just finished digging the six graves. Um, so I try and take the shovel. Joe won't let you. Talk. Joe. Doesn't talk much, yes, they were caught, sort of caught up with where we were. Um, is there. I don't know. I think they're just gravestones, aren't they? Um, should I try and go? Should I try and go in the direction from here? Let's try north. Can't go in that direction. South, east, and west. Okay. Right. Let's try and go back out of the cemetery. Okay. So let's look at Sam. There is nothing special. That's really that's really sad. Um, so I need to look at the body because I might need to trigger something about it knowing that it's Sam. Um, it says I could go north. So let's let's just go north and and work stuff out from there. Okay, you are in the side yard. You can follow the fence to the south, which is on tree gone. Um, yeah, okay. where are we? How long have we been streaming for? An hour? Okay, good stuff. I think I'll keep going for, I'll try and keep going for another half an hour and then I'll stop, I think. I think that's um, a good comfortable uh, stream for now. But let's carry on. So, um, look at the fence. Is there anything interesting about the fence? There is nothing special. Um, I can see doors though. Look at the doors. There's nothing special. I'm going to open the door, so that's going to be another part of the house, isn't it? But whether we could have got there anyway, I don't know. Okay, right, I better put this bit of the. This just seems like a bit of um, intermediate, like, 
landscape world than anywhere useful, which is intriguing. So I th I don't know for certain, but I think this is the kind of game where once you know what to do, um, you can really really whip through the game and get it done really quickly. Um, but because uh, I, I don't know I don't know what I'm doing in in many senses, and uh, I've, I've never played it before is what I mean, um, and I haven't looked anything up about it. Uh, it's all going to be a surprise to me. We can we can learn together. Explore together. Hopefully, solve a series of murders. Well, I think we, we might already have solved a series of murders together, but uh, surviving will be another matter. Okay. Um, well, bear me with this sake. My headphones are doing something weird. All good. So let's go. Go house. Go house. Let's just go a house, man. I don't understand what you mean. Oh, don't understand my patois. Um, uh, west. It'd be west where we're looking. Okay, here we go. Um, the old dusty library. I mean, that's that's my forte, really. An old dusty library. Great. So. Uh, I'll swack that on the map as well, why not? So it's very cool that we don't have to worry about um, the light going out. It's a big it's a big weight off my mind, to be honest. And actually, now I'm thinking about it, it's quite a ballsy move for a game that's priding itself on being the first um, adventure game that's um, that's got graphics that uses graphics to um, very quickly put in a situation where there are no graphics. Uh, that's that's quite a move. Um, I admire it. So that was West. And now we're in the old dusty library. So there's definitely a note there. There's a couch, there's shelves, a fireplace, maybe, and another door. Okay, so uh, I'll do a quick sketch through. Yes, and oh, I'm going into details now. I'm trying to get the books in the right places. I'd, I'd lost myself uh, momentarily there. Uh, so it looks like a fireplace, and there's that's a particularly well rendered uh, couch, I think, considering the um, how the game has struggled with curves and perspective so far. That couch, that's not that's not too far off. It's good work. There we go. Um, and a note. I'll. Hmm, I kind of run out of black room in black there, so I'll write note in cyan that we've had before um, to indicate that. And then let's start looking at stuff. So I'm going to take that note, so I know exactly what to do with notes, um, and then read it. 7 minus 6 equals 1, then I am done. Hmm, what do we think? Joe's handwriting? could be. We might need to find another sample. Um, right, let's go to our note section. Bam, 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 bam. Here we go. Notes now over here. Um, there's some space and you can see that. Brilliant. So, let's put it in blue. No, black is good. Black is good for this. Uh, 7 minus 6 equals 1. And then I... Oh, it rhymes, doesn't it? It's a poem. Hang on. Do we have any poets in the uh, in the suspects gallery? Let me check. We had Daisy the cook, blonde. Bill the butcher, blonde. Joe, sus Joe the grave digger. We get who? Sus Joe the grave digger, brunette. Doctor Green, surgeon, brunette. Sally seamstress, redhead. Sam deceased. Tom, plumber, blonde. 
I mean, so you'd think Sam the cat with a yeah, you think they're obviously we're not going for our the ironic deaths uh, scenario. Um, so I, I feel like um, Sam would have met a more uh, automotive death than that, if that's the case. Um, I'm just uh, contemplating what could happen to um, to Tom the plumber. Uh, right, okay, um, but I'm not here to amuse myself. I'm here to drop a note. Um, look at the. Don't they call it a couch or a sofa or? There's nothing special. Okay. Um, how about I look at the table? So I think if there's somewhere interesting, it will show me a close-up on it. There's nothing special. Um, look. Shelf, I'm going to say. I don't know how to look a shelf. Okay. Look. Book. So, ah, okay. T oh, got a bit ambitious there. So there is a book. Take book. It does not remove. It does not remove. Interesting. Can I move the book? Is this a secret passageway? Okay. Um, read book. What do you mean? No. Um. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll look. I'll look at the fireplace. There is nothing special. Hmm. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna. Oh, there's probably only one save slot, isn't there? Do you think it's safe to save? Oh, we can easily re retra retrace our steps if we um, do something we shouldn't have. Save this game. I'm gonna try and light the fire. Relight the fire. Okay. Um, light fireplace. Well, let's try some plurals because I haven't tried the plural of shelf for that. So let's look at shelves. There are not many books left. Hmm, but what if I look at the books plural? Nothing special. So, I mean, that could be. That actually seems most applicable in terms of just not remove, take books, just not remove. So I don't think there's anything there, I think it's just a note. Okay, so then we want to go west. You ready? Okay, let's go west. Oh, we're back in... So actually that map-wise, that matches up, doesn't it? Let's, let's do that, let's pop that in, make that official. So going west from here. So actually this map is kind of kind of working out, isn't it? So I th think the only door here is that word at the bottom that's obscured. If that's the thing we need to solve this, I'm going to be this just. Um, so Let's, okay, concentrate, concentrate. We go west. We get back to the lobby. So I think the door to the north is... The door is closed. Oh, sorry. Got a bit carried away there. Um, let me try and open the door. Maybe we can just walk out the front door. Oh! Huh. You're on the porch. Stone steps lead down to the front yard. Oh, oh! Could the text that we saw before be the welcome mat? It could be, couldn't they? Um, interesting. Um, is there anything interesting about the porch? Anything special. Um, look at Matt. So it has a look at a mat. What would you call a welcome mat? Um, can I call it rug? Would they? There's nothing special. Okay, so I think they do recognise that as a rug. Um, move. I don't think it liked move before when I tried it, did it? 
move rug? I don't understand what you mean. Hmm. Um, anything weird about the door? I mean, that door knob is, is all kinds of wrong, isn't it? But So, look at the steps. So, I think I've looped back round to where I started, which is really interesting. So there's really nothing stopping me from leaving this haunted house other than the the programming limitations which is pretty intriguing um, I wonder what happens if you go to the steps then go street I don't know how to go a street okay um, all right I'll go back up there so I, uh, it's probably not anything we can uh, do hang on what if I wipe feet I should have done. I don't know how to wipe a feet. <laughs> cool. Okay. So for completeness sake, I'll put this screen on our map. But I don't think it's going to be relevant. I don't think it's got anything that we need. I mean, uh, did I look at the rug? Something special. Um, can I take the rug? That would be weird, wouldn't it? But see it here oh okay so there's a rug in the game um, i'm assuming the one in the dining room that we burnt a hole in but uh not here okay so interesting to know okay uh let's focus on the map so i want another one of these the map space uh to put here and I can make a few different notes about it. I can say that um, you go north. I wonder if the it would ordinarily be open that door, or maybe because we've got the key and we can get through it. It might be me reading into things a bit too much. Um, so this is the port. This is got to be one of the simplest screens in the uh, in the game so far graphically so I think that's a welcome map well I'll put on there um, I don't think you can do anything there so I don't need any additional notation uh, but it does loop back round to here via the steps um, and I can adjust that if um... oh yeah hang on so if we if I look back at our map, um, yeah, that'll do it. So if we say we went, so we've done everywhere from where you can have a look at that, where you can go from the house. So you can go to the forest or you can go to the front door. So we've done both of those. And of course you can only go to the kitchen. From the kitchen, you can go two ways actually, can't you? We haven't been the other. So I think that might be the only unexplored route on this floor of the house so let's let's go there okay so uh, open door great go door go through door the door has been closed and locked oh oh that's really interesting i wonder if it wasn't locked because we didn't originally come through there. Um, can we open the door? It is locked. Oh, that's really interesting. So now it's locked. I wonder if that's a bit of a bug. Do you think if the um, the secret killer had lured us all here to lock us in? My goodness knows what mechanism they used to lock it uh, when nobody was around. Hmm, interesting. Right, so yes, we're going to the kitchen, which lies... So it was, we went east from the kitchen to go here, so we need to go west. Correct? Correct. And then we need to go east. 
to find what's be oh no we need to go west again don't we told you i got my east and west confused um kitchen type in kitchen uh let's go east and then uh, oh no i'm getting frightfully confused so we need to go west to get to the kitchen and then we need to go west again to go to oh that was the forest okay um oh, of course because there was yeah yeah i was foolish of me to forget that there was the door we came through would be illustrated as well that makes perfect sense so there isn't anywhere else on this floor okay great oh well that's uh ticks off another another route doesn't it um so art went into the kitchen and then east goes into the hall and then up presumably we'll go into the stairs and we're in new territory for our final um oh this looks confusing our final bit of streaming for today i think um so oh how am i gonna map this out i guess i can do it as a new floor can't i Ooh, how are we going to do that? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, map drawing juggling and create a new floor. Actually, what would be, yeah, what would be really handy is if I get another one of these, pop it off to the side, I will. Group them all together. Uh, how do I do that? Yes, there we go. Oh, hang on. I think I've grouped the wrong thing. That one? Yeah, that's not not in the group, please. Brilliant. Okay, so now I've got a group for the ground floor, which is what I would call it, but others may call it the first floor. Everything is acceptable. Uh, and yeah, there you go, I'll hide that. So we just got a new a new lot to deal with. We can start off afresh for the the next floor up. The first, <laughs> if you're in if you're in the UK, you might call it the first floor. If you're elsewhere, you might call it the second floor. Great, and I will whack a new layer in my dock for uh, scribbling on. Great, so we're at the top of the stairs. Um, I call it the landing, I think. And so I can see that there's another. There's another floor after this. Crikey. Okay. Oh, well, there was an attic. Yeah, there's that cryptic message about there only being. Um, quite a lot of perspective in this. It's quite intriguing. There, there only being uh, an open window. An unboarded window in the attic. Okay. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. There you go. What a fantastic rendering. So, what does it say about it? We can go. Uh, you are at the junction of an east-west hallway and a north-south hallway. Yeah. So down with, oh. how are we going to navigate this one then? That's intriguing. I hmm. So I guess we can we can probably say east, west, north, or south, and go somewhere, and we can probably say up as well to go up the next set of stairs. What should we? I don't really want to go to the attic yet. The attic does seem like it's going to be a place of danger. I'll try north. I don't know if it's going up the screen towards where that distant doorway is, but we'll try it. Oh, you're at a stairway. Okay. So that takes us further towards there. That's worth noting, I think. So I could probably couldn't have gone straight to that. Um, Could have gone straight to the stairway from where I was previously, I don't think. Intriguing. 
intriguing. So maybe, yeah, maybe I should go, just go one screen in each direction from there to get a feeling of this floor's layout. Um, so I mean, presumably the stairs, what you can do is go up. It doesn't look like there's any secrets, unless, you know, a floorboard pings up and there's um, a bloody axe underneath it or something. You never know. You never do know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm I'm doing some some quality miniature work here. Okay. Right. Um. So I'm gonna go south again. Hopefully that will let me go back to yeah where it was. So what if I say south of here? can't go south okay oh so it means so the general direction of the hallway is north south but i'm probably at its most southerly point so i could go east or west let's go east okay there is a doorway here and to command so i need i'm going to know this aren't i once again new rectangle there so this was east which is the, to the right yep yeah um, maybe i will forever have the correct directions of east and west uh plugged into my brain by playing this game that would be a that'd be a nice side benefit okay a doorway i mean so it's weird so rather than full featured rooms in each direction like we got on the previous floor we're getting sort of um detailed views of a particular thing so do i want to go in that room i won't yet i'll stick to what my plan was and i will go back west so there we go nice um and just go west to see what's there as well yeah let's do it Oh, that's interesting. It's, it looks exactly the same. Let me just check. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the exact same. Oh, that's very confusing. It's exactly the same thing, but presumably the doorways lead to different rooms. And maybe you can continue on in the direction you're going? That is entirely possible. And we get another one of these. Beautiful. Uh, Victorian doorways. Lead to a room with a bisected window. Fantastic. Uh, right. Well, I guess. Yeah, toward to cap off the stream, shall we just have a look in this room and see what happens? Go. Door. Does that work for this? Oh, it does. Oh, no. Uh, you are in an old nursery. There is a dead body here. Oh, man. What a way to end. What a, what a down. What a down. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to dutifully record this, this death. So I might be the... This might be the only chronicle that, that is ever uh, is ever made of this. This very sorry incident in all our lives. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just put a door put there. So it looks, yes, yeah, so there's only one entrance and exit to this room. So there's a weird rocking chair. There's a, a crib of some kind, a chest of drawers, and a very sadly deceased person. Okay. Um, 
seem to have got the got the details down. This, this person has a little jaunty beret on. Oh, that's what I like to think. I'm gonna put ja jaunty beret on beret on them. Um, rocker. We well, can't quite see that. Let me move that over. Rocker. Uh, I think I might be doing just as bad a job as them at drawing a rocking chair. Fantastic. Yeah, that's that's possible. Um, and a crib. And chest of drawers in the far distance. This looks like a really long empty room, doesn't it? Is the perspective on it? And the the doorway. So that would just be a one way deal. So I reckon we'll probably get the same on the other side of the the hallway too. All right, it was my sad duty to to look at the body. Unfortunately, who have we got? Um, it is Dr. Green. It appears he has been stabbed. Oh, oh, the the, the stakes are uh, arising, aren't they? Um, right, okay. We're going to cross off Dr. Green then. Sorry, Dr. Green. Oh yeah, I've accidentally hidden my uh, my Sam note. That's all right. Let's Cross off Sam, cross off Dr. Green. You, Joe, are still sus. No, oh, we can't see that. Joe is sus. Um, okay, and we'll just have a look at the features of the room, I think. Look, chest. What do we call that a chest? Oh, okay. Open chest. Um, open drawer. Is drawer a word that you would ex- oh my goodness. I'm getting tired. Uh, you don't know how to open a drawer. That's one of the classic lines, isn't it? One of the absolute classics. Um, okay, so I don't- I could just go open chest, couldn't I? If I haven't tried that already. I'm not saying what you mean. Um, look chair. I think we can call that chair. It's nothing special. Rock. Rock chair. I don't know how to rock something. Oh man. Um, but crib. But I think there's nothing special. Okay. I don't think there's anything here to to do. I don't know how to rock something. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to try it again. Um, I think that's it. So I think that's it for this room. And I think I'll call it a day for our stream as well. Thank you very much for joining me. So I've I've had a really good time and I intend to be playing some more of this soon. Um, I'll try and make it um, a week today at around the same time. Um, but you can um, check check the channel page for more details because I'll, if, I'm, if I do do it um, next week as I plan, I will, um, I'll schedule something. So check that out if you'd like to join me then. Um, but for now, oh, hang on, let's save it, let's save it. Before anything terrible happens. Phew. There's a relief. Okay, um, yeah, if you would like to join me next time, um, please do, and we can uh, we can venture forward on this, um, this murder mystery once more. Um, it'd be a pleasure to see you. Thanks very much for watching. Um, see you again another time. Bye bye.